the uh, graduating class, especially the 50 year class, to enjoy, bring back some old memories, and put back to Clinton what they took out. And I hope they can spread that on to all the other classes. Well, uh, if you're not here, you're missing a great event, and it'd be nice if you could somehow reach out to us, contact us, and we'll let you know when this dinner happens every year. And every time I think of the school, I get choked up, not only because of my own relationship to the school, but because of all the students uh, I have had and loved. And I'm honored by the class of 1962 to having invited me to come back after 50 years. Thank you very much. Um, I will tell you, listening to the achievements of uh, Gene Brown, that's, that's the kind of guy that graduates from the And so I just want to I just tell you, when I was courting my wife, um, I took her up to the Bronx. We met, met at Goldman Sachs. I took her down to the concourse and the author him for lunch. She heard about Dewey Clinton, so I strolled around to my head and sat on the stoop of my old apartment building across the parkway. And then we walked down to the city. So, you know, I knew she was going to be my wife, but I was hoping to walk through the convincing I did. Now she's a Yankee fan forever. And I'll tell you, one of the most important influences in my life in the years I spent at Dewey Clinton. It was tough, and then you. For those of you in the rough, rough area of the late 60s, early 70s, that was a really tough time in the Bronx. It was kind of falling apart. But the school allowed me to grow up. Uh, and as much as I wanted to succeed in life, if it wasn't for some of the teachers that I had in school, uh, a lot of the classmates that I had, I wouldn't have had the inspiration to go out and dare to try and leave the Bronx. You know, they say that many of life's lessons are taught to you in high school, and I will tell you that's certainly true. And the first day I showed up in homeroom, when I looked around and I was one of the smallest guys in the room, I went up to the biggest guy in the room, and I said, you know, I can help you with your homework, and then try not to get killed in the hallway. And in my senior year, I was negotiating with an art teacher in his class I hated in my final semester cut so many times that my mother had to come in to negotiate me to graduate, but that's another story. But I'll just tell you, listening to Dr. Fuchs talk about what's going on with education in the Bronx, and when you look at the distinguished alumni like Gene Brown that have come out of this wonderful school, you know, we, as alumni, we need to make sure that we can do what we can, because Mayor Mark's actually a pretty good guy, he's got an open mind, so I think we get in front of him, I think it's a great thing, so. I just want to thank you all very much. I love this school and I'm proud of the party.
So thank you very much. I continue the tradition of printing for Clinton High School. Thank you for coming. 